Sean Sport in podcast form. Hey, just quickly want to touch on the Rugby Sevens before we get stuck into the That's cricket. That's not cricket. Okay. Ah, well, Australia um, got beaten in the women's and men's final oh, just yesterday. So close. Oh. We Pre- had it here. Them. We had yeah. it on our own turf, as we know, that mm. um, everybody got around it. And the women's team got beaten by Ireland 19 to 14. Oh, and Ireland. the men's got smoked by Argentina, mm. who have beaten them a couple of times in yeah, recent right. big matches, 31 to 5. So, so it wasn't this is a, a warm finish. up for the Olympics, which yeah. is not too far away. Really, but I, yeah. I, I guess we're showing form, so that's a yes. good thing. Yep. And, you know, who knows what happens yep. uh, when the gold medal's are on the line. Mm. So we're certainly a big chance. South Africa beat Australia in the women's T20 match in Canberra for the first time what? ever okay, yesterday. That's, that's well, an official boil over. must have had a great time after that game. Yes. <laughs> Partying imagine, in Canberra? Imagine it. Partying in Canberra. Partying in Canberra. Like, we've, they've done never, it. we've done it. it. They've never ever won a match, so they just want to let their hair down and go out all yes. night long. Yes. Mm. Soak up that Canberra night. Straight lifestyle. to Fishwick. <laughs> Straight to Fishwick. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, Priya, Priya, who, who's our assistant producer, she says, no, oh, no, no, no Fishwick no. there. Okay. Sorry, that's just Sean just told us about it. Um, And the other one is obviously that Australia were beaten by the West Indies yesterday in the second test. I'm happy about the West Indies being successful again. That makes me happy. Like, they used to be such a force in world cricket and they just kind of, you know, dwindled down to nothing, you know, didn't make the World Cup and that kind of stuff. And then you go, we want them to be great. We do. And Shamar Joseph, he's great. 24 years of age, and it was his second match ever at an international level. Incredible. Seven wickets he took. Now, the funny thing after, uh, not funny, so when he took his last wicket, and you got a picture of this, so you're exhausted at the end of the game, and you yeah. always see this in a sporting match. When you either kick a goal or, or take a wicket of that magnitude, for some reason, you can run faster than you've ever run in your and life. It's amazing, isn't it? He ran straight to the boundary doing the aeroplane. He loved yes. it. He just just soaked it all up. He was absolutely fantastic. It is brilliant. Uh, so we know how much our Australian cricketers get paid, yep. right? So does that translate to other teams in other countries? So if you play for India, Nath, or England, in particular India, you will never work again, right? Yep. So you need yep. 25 You'll bodyguards. Need yes. You're just rich for eternity. England, you're very, very rich as well. Yep. I would say South Africa, you do pretty well. But the West Indies is the reason why Nat said that they have been nowhere is because the money Funding. fell out of the ass, yeah. ass of wow. it. Yeah. Because they're they're not a country. Yeah. They're a, a, yes. a group of countries, yes. that, and they don't all necessarily agree on how the game should be run and there's a bit of infighting and that kind of stuff, and that's made it difficult. And also, you know, they're, they're going to start losing players to... T20, I would think. Well, Shamar Joseph reckons, we'll have a discussion about this, that uh, he will always play for the West Indies, not the short form of the game. This is all my dream, to play test cricket for the West Indies. I'm not afraid to say this. There will be times that T20 might come around, test cricket will be there. I would always be available to play for the West Indies, no matter how much money it takes or come towards me. So I would always be here to play test cricket. Mm. Tell us that three million we'll I have to say, <laughs> That's easy to say before the money's you know, put in front of you it's and it's attainable. It's Cameron Green money. Yeah. Like, yeah. come on. If, if, if the IPL auction was... In now. a week's time, or whatever the case is, he would go for millions and millions of dollars. Correct. Now, yeah. it's already passed, and so he's not going to be playing yes, next, but season. next season. Yeah, but it next just year. takes you to have one of those hot moments and time, and the money comes pouring, and you'd be no going, where's one Indies, where's you? that? No, no one blames no, no, you, I, I, because no. it's irresponsible for you not to take yeah, that money and look after window. yourself and your family. Yeah, yeah short yeah. window to capitalise on your talent. Yeah. Mm. You know, you can't blame them. What under the West Indies have made, um, win. yeah, bought cricket alive yesterday. Hey, let's go to the Australian Open. Of course, last night was the men's final, but we'll just go back to Arena Sabalenka taking her second Australian Open title. She's won $23 million yeah. in she's prize machine, money already. She's a machine, yeah. 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 How she's, that? A, she's an amazing player. Yeah, she definitely is an amazing player. Um, a lot to offer it's still to come. The women's... Um, the women's side of things has been relatively open for a while yes. since Serena decided to um, retire and go and have kids. I mean, mm. she'll probably come back and win a couple anyway because mm. she's that bloody good. But, yeah, the, the, anything can happen in any semi-final, mm. quarter-final, yes. up into the final. Anyone's a chance. Yes. The men's has been locked away. So since 2005, there's either been Federer, Djokovic or Nadal in a final. Yep. Since 2005. That's amazing, isn't it? Unbelievable. So it's 20, 20 years. So yeah. when um, uh, Djokovic got knocked out. Yep. Yes. What does that do to him? Like, you know what I mean? Because he wins all the time. Like, like what does that Mentally, do? Mentally, do you mean? Yeah. I, I wonder if he starts... Thinking, is this well, the end? Well, changing what, what the I was guards, saying to yeah. um, Todd Woodbridge the other day, I thought this would be this, the year for him. But, I mean, I could say that. I could say it next year. And yeah. sooner or later, I'm going to be right. Yeah. But um, 
it may sh- it may shake him a little bit, yeah. and it may make the other players lift and go, he isn't infallible anymore. Because remember, we can, tra- we can remember, take remember he would have he would have tracksuits and shirts screw printed yes. already by saying yes. the amount of things that he's won. Yes, right? yeah, so yeah. He, go, he goes in very confident yeah. because why wouldn't he? Yeah. History suggests. History suggests yeah. he wins it all the time, yeah. Matthew. One hundred percent right. Yannick Sinner coming in as a twenty-two year old, yeah. taking care of Daniel Medvedev. It's not the young bloke we thought. We, everybody thought Alcaraz. This was going to be his yes. year, and he, you know, he got bundled out. And so you think, oh, you know. Obviously, it's just going to be a name that we know. But Yannick Sinner, it was an amazing win. It's a great name, Fight by the back. way. Fight yeah. back, yeah. Uh, two sets down. He looked like he was gone for all gone money. Gone for all money. All money. And then the tide turned. And then yep. from that point on, it looked like that um, Medvedev, Miles, all had gone and had an early shower. It's amazing, it never looked it? like he was going to win from that point on. Yeah. So Yannick Sinner's won about, I think he's won about 13 or 14 million so far. So he's got a fair way to and go. He's 22. But, but it's not bad, is it? Not bad for um, 22. He'd be sponsored up the Wazoo, wouldn't he? Oh, yeah. And if he yeah. wasn't. I don't know he who will he's be with, Nath, but he will be, yeah. Who was, that and, play, who was that player that was playing at Australian Open or whatever? Remember an Australian guy and he said and he had no um, sponsorship? Well, Tanasi uh, Kokonakis. That was him. He's sponsored by yeah. Cotton On. Cotton On. Cotton yeah, because he just used to wear Cotton On, mm. didn't he? Mm. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, now they've given him some money. Yeah, so great. He hasn't gone on to do anything, really. I thought he would be better than what he. Tanasi. Yeah, yeah. Tanasi. I thought mm-hmm. he would be uh, much better, but still a lot of money in tennis. And now it <laughs> seems with Novak getting beaten, as you said, in the semi final, there could be a changing of the guard finally after yeah. 20 it's years. Gr- I think hey. it's great for the sport, obviously. You know, uh, who else was sport? mortified about what happened with Anthony Albanese sitting okay. there in the crowd with Jody, who we know? Yeah. And then. Everyone just starts So this is him. during this is, the presentation. This is Todd Woodbridge has mm. announced him. Anyway, have a li- oh my God, have a listen. The Australian Prime Minister, the Honourable Anthony Albanese. The Deputy Victorian Premier, the Honourable Ben Carroll. How embarrassing. I know, when you're there, I would have just, just... What do you do? Like, you know, know what you do? I don't know. Do you, you sit down you in your chair? And then or, you're <laughs> or like, do you, do you have your phone up, pretending you're taking a call and you haven't seen, heard what happened? Like, what? <laughs> I don't know. How it's horrible. Embarrassing. You just no don't want to them hide. to announce you, do you? No. Because you know it's coming. Yeah. If you've watched history, you know it's coming. Yeah. I you mean, just don't people go love to, to boo things. a politician at the best of times, but it's all. I, I, but I, I mean, I, that's a that's a court full of people impacted by those changes he's made to the tax cuts. Yeah. So, because oh, they, they're well, all cashed up. Oh well, yeah. Well, you know, any prime minister that goes into that court, yeah. oh, geez, you just know it's coming. How yeah. embarrassing! It's coming. Oh, imagine everyone hearing all that and going, "Yeah, that's that's directed at me." <laughs> Me, really, personally, uh, me. Like, like actually, me. me. Like who I am. So. Oh. Anyway, there should be a small trap door where you can just drop yeah. down and then come oh, back up again when they stop yeah. talking the about you. The boo door. Yeah. <laughs> Your little oh, boo thing. Door. Little boo thing. Close to the hoe door. <laughs> That's what it's for. Sean Sport is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.